welcome to the Gen Zace YouTube channel. My name is Zach and I'm your host. Today is the first episode in a new series that we're calling Battery 101. Um, the goal of these videos is to share more basic knowledge about lithium batteries, such as how to use batteries correctly and how to maintain them. Um, we we want to make sure that you have the basic knowledge of batteries and to help you stay away from the risks caused by incorrect use. So let's start with the basics. In this video, we'll be talking about what a lithium polymer battery is and, and how it's made. Specifically, a lithium ion polymer battery, otherwise known as a LiPo or a pouch cell battery. It belongs to the group of lithium ion batteries, just in a different configuration. Uh, these are the same batteries that are found in your, your cell phone, your laptop, your iPad. The batteries that are made for your RC car are just more powerful versions of lithium polymer batteries. Uh, fun fact, besides just making more powerful batteries, we can also make batteries that perform in both high and low temperature situations, uh, batteries that have a high capacity, and batteries that have a long life cycle. They are associated with a different chemistry though, um, such as lithium cobalt oxide, lithium ion phosphate, and lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide. Household name, everyone knows that one. You know, things like that. So anyways, back to LiPo batteries. LiPo batteries can be divided into five parts. You got your positive, negative, separator, it's kind of like a paper material, electrolyte, and soft case aluminum casing. Uh, and of course, a whole bunch of chemicals, um, some that you might not have heard about like lithium cobalt oxide, graphite, which seems like it's the majority of the material, ethanol carbonate, all right, uh, then we got copper and aluminum, easy, and then we have carbonic, carbox, carboxymolethyl cellulose, hey, what? I'm sorry, you're gonna peek behind the curtain here. Who, who invented these words? I just, I just wanted, I just wanna ask them why they didn't make it shorter, easier to say. Who's gonna remember this? You know, if I'd known I'd be working for a battery company, I would probably have paid attention to science a little more. But producing a LiPo battery is very complicated. Uh, it, it's a long production process that may take three to four weeks. Uh, you'll need to mix all the chemicals together, and if you mess up, the battery could blow up. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't really blow up. I mean, no, no it's fine. After mixing the material, it will become kind of like a black liquid. Um, and then we'll need to coat it on the aluminum and copper foil as the positive and negative material. Uh, and then it's all pressed together. Um, from there, it will be cut to different sizes, uh, kind of based on the battery specs. And then it's stacked up by a machine, and the separator is installed between the positive and negative material. Separators are an important component when it comes to a lithium ion battery cell. They're needed to mechanically separate a node and cathode within a cell while allowing maximum ionic conductivity of the lithium ion molecules through the polymer electrolyte. Sorry, that was a lot of info. Um, anyways, after that, we will build the discharge tab on the stacked unit and place it into the aluminum housing and seal the side. Then the next steps will be vacuumizing, baking, electrolyte injection, sealing, and then making it look nice. Believe it or not, I actually skipped out on a lot of parts. But however, that just gives you a general idea of how LiPo batteries are made. And that's all for today. Next time we're going to talk about how to use the battery correctly, how to maintain your battery. But please subscribe to our channel, give us that like, give us that, you hit the bell, you'll know exactly when a new video is up. And please, please in the comments, let us know what you think of this. Is this what you're wanting from us? Do you want more of this? Should we experiment with something else? Again, we want to create this YouTube channel as a place for you guys to come and hang out at. Um, so until next time, my name is Zach, and thank you for stopping by.